Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Dark Souls. My first playthrough in um, one of my favourite games ever made. It ju it, this game just recently, recently released on the Xbox One backwards compatibility and I've been I've been waiting for this I have. I have been waiting for this for so long. Of course this game is so... Uh, it's one of my fa favourite games, it's so amazing. Right then, start it up, start with a new game. Of course I don't have any save data on this now because that's all my Xbox One. On um, 360 I mean. That's good enough, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I'm having a look at this one, all this now. Camera speed, 5, yeah. Show blood, yeah, subtitles, all that, yeah, all that, fine. Now, time to make our character. We're in the character name. Uh, we are going to call him... Kylo... Uh, I guess you can't add spaces to this. Kylo Ren. One word, that looks fine like that. Obviously male. Clash. Now, this is the most important part now, class. Picking the class of your character, because you need to pick the right one. They all give you different um, stats Blair. Warrior, Knight, Wanderer, Thief, Bandit, Hunter, Sorcerer, Pyromancer, Cleric, and Deprived. Only pick the Sorcerer or Pyromancer or Cleric if you want to be a magic builder, which I'm not going to be. I'm going to go with either the Probably like a knight or the wanderer. Wanderer is good because you get like some really good stats for that. Knight, you get some good armor. Level three, C star, level five on this guy. I'm gonna low ranking knight, high HP, solid armor, not easily toppled. See, he's already got some really good stats, so let's go to knight. And gift. Again, the gift that um. This is basically what um, you'll have this now you will for um, most of the game. Well, depending on what it is. It's very important some of this is. This is just for these rules HP, you don't have that one. Black firebomb, you just get 5 firebombs. 20 manatees, just get 20 manatee, not much. Binoculars, binoculars are actually really good. Well, not, not so good in this game, I don't think. They're better in Dark Souls um, 2, but you can see further of them. Pendant, absolutely no effect. Pendant does nothing, so don't get that. Master key is what I will be picking because you can buy, you can open some doors, you can, and it's a really good um, item. If you're a thief, you get that immediately. Teddy beans ring, HP recovers slowly while equipped. That's not true. It just HP sort of just gets a bit thing. And old witch's ring that allows you to talk to um, some NPCs in the game, certain ones, but we'll on one later. Zeke. No, this, this is just as aesthetic as it says. Large upper body, large lower body, top heavy, tiny head. Very large. Average, slim, very slim, large. Let's go slim, I'm pretty slim, I am. Right, face. Wow, that, that guy's just happy to be here, isn't he? He's just so happy to be here. Oh my god. I went with this guy last time, so let's go fight Traveller. Hair. Yeah. Of course, none of this really matters because you can't really look like this at all that much. Curly. Yeah, I like that one. Colour. Oh, I like the sil. I like the silver. Right, that's good. Got good stats, but they're basically all of the nice ones all over the board, standard, and we got all the things we need. Right, so that's my character, and let's start this off. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags arch trees and everlasting dragons but then there was fire 
land was fire, came disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the day. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end. The world. This is your fate. And so it begins. That was a hefty cutscene. Right, first off, 
I'm gonna change the brightness because the game's a bit dark. Okay, that's a bit better. Now, yeah, so let's start us off. I don't have any good mobility. Just, I have no good mobility. That's the one bad thing about this kit, starting kit. I have very heavy armor. Of course, pick that up. And having heavy armor is not a good thing, so I shouldn't have bought. I shouldn't really have started with this one. Now, of course, you have these on the ground. Press RB to attack, obviously. Attack you, I will. Still sit, pick me. If we look at Q, we have a boss in there. We'll be fighting that guy until much later in the game. Pretty big and scary. More swords and get better. Yeah. That uh, sucks. Yeah, I know the messages. You read our message, it just says lock on. Press RT for a heavy attack. Once I get some better armor, I'll put that on, obviously. It'll become lighter and easier to dodge and everything. I've got to sprint the bladders and everything. Eh. Ugh, as you can see, look at that. Ugh, horrible. And here we have a bonfire. This is our best friend in the world. These are our checkpoints. Right now we can't do anything at all with it, but we'll just rest of it. This is where we'll respawn. Now, first off, we're gonna open this door. The first thing we're gonna do is look straight up. Because if you look up there, you can see the asylum demon. And that's gonna be dropping right down onto this room. So, you can fight this guy if you want to, because then you'll get his hammer straight away. Of course, I don't recommend fighting him with this shitty sword or uh, this shitty stats, I guess. So what we're gonna do, run in here. He's gonna drop down. Yep, and we're just gonna run through this door. Because we're not idiots. We'll be back with that guy later, we will. But don't stand next to the door, you'll get killed then. And we have another bonfire. Rest of this one. Right, leave it. Big message. Get your shield. Yep, there's a guy there now, and he's gonna shoot arrows at us. So, pick us up, and we have a tower kite shield. Yep, that's just telling you to equip it in the thing. We have to go into the inventory via shield and tower kite shield. Now that we have this, we press LB to block. Unfortunately, he's just going to run away from us. Now we're going to pick this up. Broadsword, much better weapon. And he's still running away from us. And there he is. Look at that. Completely destroys them now. Man, I can't tell you how good it feels to play this game. It's, I've been waiting for this to come on to Finn for ages. B backstep, of course, and left stick roll. Now, this is. This is an important part, beer. We need to get into this wall, beer. But first of all, we're gonna go down here. if we open this, we're back at the courtyard. And that right there, as a ghost, and that's just another guy playing this game. As you can see, he looks exactly the same as me. Because if you haven't played this game before, you'll see a lot of ghost figures like that. That's just other people playing the game. In their own world. So you can see what other people are doing. Now, this is important. We run up here, and then we run straight down here. That's the boulder. Now, we're gonna go kill the guy who did that, but first of all, we wanna go in here and talk to this guy. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Hmm? Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. 
then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Right. This was the guy who freed us from the first cell in the first place. And what he gave us now is an Estus flask. And right now he's gonna die. And now we're gonna get 100 souls for that. So he gives an Estus flask, which is the most important item in the entire game because it's what you heal. It's what you use to regain health. Screw you. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, watch out for that attack. They have one furious attack you do when you just hit back and forth. Broken straight sword. I'm not gonna use that at all. See. So, yeah. Estus flasks are important. You replenish them at bonfires, so don't worry about using them because they'll just, um. Left stick and forward. See, I never really figured out how to kick. This is Y wield two handed weapon. Hold Y, yeah, just press Y and do that. Be wary of enemy and rest, the, rest in a bonfire to revive enemies. Yep, I know that. That's a very important thing in this game. On around the corner because there's a guy with a bow around that corner. I don't piss him off. Right, so that's him dead, and ah, now we go here. Behind an enemy, cradle hit. Yep, and parry in. Parry is important. Press LT to parry. This is a big guy. This guy, this guy's got a shield and everything. Look at this guy. Just hit him once and get back. Don't get greedy in this game. That's the one thing about Dark Souls. Never get greedy, unless you know you can punish it. And there we go. He's dead. Easy peasy. No, the next part isn't so easy peasy. Because right through here, we're going to be facing our asylum demon. He's right down there. First off, just drop down Tasabi. Because he's going to jump up there. And he will hit you. Hurt you a lot. God, it's been a while since I played this game. Okay, that's a good attack. It's easy. One shot. Okay, he's gonna stand in the air, he's gonna drop down. Easy, punish. Not good. I'm sure you're always blocking as well when you just have a big leg out. Oh god. Okay, good. Safest place to be you battle an enemy? Right next to them. He's gonna drop down again. Not good, not good at all. Ow. Not good. Okay, better. I thought he was going to hit it the second time. Come on, do something. Not that. Not that. Ugly fella, this is neat. Not good. Okay, better. Good. Good in a lot, now he is. Okay, good. Ah, 
Ow. Almost one more hit instead. Ow. And I killed him. I can't hit anyone in the corner, but I killed him. Ah, that's good. Humanity. Gonna jump up from my assist flask, why not? Well, and this is not the last time we'll be here. We'll be coming back here later. But this, now we can open this big old door. Of course, these are gonna be signs saying good job and everything. Good job, go straight ahead. Good luck. Now, first off, there's a few places of interest here. Over here. Right now, there's nothing going on here, but this nest is important, and we'll go back to it later. First off, we want to go down here. Make sure you don't fall off. And there's an item over here. So of lost on that. That'll give you more souls. Let's just run up here, and we'll get one more cutscene before we leave this place. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Firelink Shrine. This is our hub area, and this is going to be very important. I'm going to sit here and level up right now. We've got 2,300 souls, and so we're going to use them. We want to get our endurance up. That's going to give us more stamina. And it'll give us better physical defense and everything. No, no, it's not endurance, is it? It's a dexterity, that's it. Dexterity allows us to use a much better weapons as well. So, dexterity is when we want to get so, as fast as possible. Confirm reinforcements, yep. And leave. I know there's nothing more we can do. You can reverse hollow in, but there's no point. Well, that does make you look nicer. Makes him look human. Now we're going to talk to this guy. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Right, so now we got a goal. We have something to do. Oh, now okay, that cool. We need to ring the bells of awakening. Of course, there's a lot of things around here that we want to do. There's that big bird that brought us here. I can see him up there. First of all, there's going to be a guy up here we want to talk to as well. Hello there. 
I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Now don't let that dissuade you, just keep talking to him. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain, but I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. He gave us a copper coin, which does nothing, really. Oh my, you again. Keep talking to him a while. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? And a copper coin thing's not um, leaving, is it? Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Already belong to this covenant. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Now, oh. let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate. Right, so now we can purchase items from him. Think about it. This is basically like for match builders, it says. Oh, miracles. I can learn gesture, and I've learned shrug. Just alert. This is the most important. If I press back, I can do this. Hello, everyone. Point up. And you can uh, basically switch out to the ones you want to do as well. And we'll do that later. First off, I'm going to show all the places around here we can go. I'm going to do something then, and then I'm going to quit this now before I'm leaving. Go into here. Cool view, it's very important. This chest is already open. Okay. I think that's supposed to be closed, isn't it? Uh, weird. Okay. Press B. If you hold tap B, well, and then you'll jump. By the way, there's not really any use for us for that. There's other places to go here, there's other things to get. We want to go up here. And there's some elevators here which we can't use yet, fortunately. If we go up here, we can never write them. Soul of Lost and Dead, lovely. No, we can't do anything else. We can't, we need to get up there to get more items, so we'll go this way. And right now we're going to do something which is pretty scary, but it ultimately helps us out. Now, if you just want to know where to go, I'll teach you in the next video. It's up those stairs. That's where to go. That's the next. That's the main area. A lot of people missed that out. I missed that out first time I played this game as well. But you go up those stairs. But we're not going to do that right now. Oh wait, we, we go up here, don't we? We're gonna go somewhere where most people will probably go when they first start this game, and most people will probably die. Oh! You hear a bell? If you hear a bell, that's somebody wouldn't ring in the bell before we can end in the church. Just to let you know. Now there's nothing over here of interest. This is where a lot of people go. Down here. And we're gonna go down here as well. Now, there's some items down here that I didn't get. Unfortunately, those skeletons are kind of going to come to life, and they're going to kill us. So, what I recommend doing is running like mad. Because we don't want to, we don't want to bother these skeletons at all, because they will destroy you. We want to run up here, let this big guy come up, pick that wind spear. Very good, very useful. Ow! Pick this up. Swide hand blood, that's a good weapon. Okay, keep running, keep running. Pick this up. Pick this up. Binoculars and go off. And that's basically what I wanted to do. That's good because now I got binoculars, so I don't need to. So I don't need to even get the gift at the start for binoculars because now I already got it. And I got two good weapons out of that. I got the Swidehander swide and the Wind Spear. Can't use that unfortunately because we don't have the correct stats. If we talk about status, it shows us we need. Where does it say we need it? Uh, 
that toggle display. Yeah. We need 24 strength to use that. And this one, we need 13 strength and 15 dexterity. So we can't use the wind spear yet either. So, I'm going to be using the wind spear as soon as possible. But right now, of course, I can't because I need more strength and more dexterity. So, right now, just have a little rest of bonfire. And with that, I'm going to end this part. And uh, up next, we'll be starting it off by going into the first area. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, thanks for watching this um, video. Thanks for um, being here, and I'll, well, hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be doing a lot more in this series. Goodbye.